as Tim were marine diagnostic tools today. We're connected to a 2008 C 230 Challenger. We're using a Kajali Jal test software. We're going to go up to ECM. Select that, and that's going to bring up your cable button and connect button. We'll hit the cable button to show you what you can see on that. That's going to give you your cables. If you were using a multi pins, it's going to give you instructions, a detailed pinout for that. Those. Okay, so we'll go up here and hit connect. Your first page is going to be your system identification that pops up. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and diagnose and see if there's any codes. Here we have a non present error code. That'll give you some information there. And if you move your cursor over to the eye, that's going to give you your freeze frame information on that code. And then you also have the fault code troubleshooting if there are any included. Okay, so we'll close out of that. We're going to go to system data. That's going to give you your ECU information. It's going to bring it up like this all your numbers and all your information on the ECU. Close out of that. You go to your parameters. That's where you can find your engine identifier and your key recording. So my expert mode has already been put in, but you'll need that to get in and change your parameters and things. And so that's what that engine identifier looks like. We'll close out of that. We're going to go to keys recording. That's where you're going to find how many keys you have and how many spots you have left to reprogram some other keys. So we're in expert mode, and you'll hit accept after you punch in the code. And here you have your list of keys. Okay, close out of that. And go into measurements. This will have all your voltages, temperatures, pressures, things like that. Okay, so you have two pages. There's a couple switches on here also on the second page. Okay. Just come down here to actuate components. This is where you're going to find your injector test, ignition coil test. So we're going to go ahead and do the fuel pump test. And you select that. We'll go to activation. Go ahead and hit the check mark. Hit the check mark again. And you'll, you'll hear that fuel pump fire up and actuate and then it'll tell you whether it's finished or not. Okay. You go to system checks and it's your cylinder cut out your fuel pump. You're going to want to do this while the engine's running. This maintenance is going to be your last maintenance when it was last maintained. Give you the date and hours it was done. Okay. Your calibration, that's going to give you the throttle valve actuator. And your operation data will give you total time. It's 137 hours. You can go to data record, operation time. It's 100% on normal. Your max and mins. There you find your pressure and temperatures, voltage. Okay, engine load profile is going to give you a percentage of what RPMs, RPM range that the engine was running. And then you could clear your data records. So we go to the wiring diagrams. So we have a nice clear white screen. You're going to have your lines drawn out. You can scroll down as you move the cursor over top of those components. It's going to give you pictures. And you can double click to make the picture bigger if you would like. We'll just cruise over these a little bit. Okay. One more. Okay, so we're going to have system technical data that's going to bring up your components and it'll give you list your components. If you click on that component, it may give you a picture. Or it may tell you to go to this diagram and it's going to go to that wiring diagram. And it's going to shade that component out so you can see it nice and easy. Move the cursor over here so you can see it right there is that can highline. Okay. So this is on a 2008 c 230 Challenger. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching, guys.